Hi, I'm Rick Kastner with SDI and I'm coming to you today with another video. Uh, this, this time we're going to be talking about the general disassembly of a Remington 870 shotgun. The disassembly method for this shotgun will look very similar in a Mossberg 500 or Maverick 88. Those, those style of pump shotguns, it will be very similar. So let's get into it. First and foremost, you want to make sure your feeding system is, your feeding device is clear, which in this case, you can't see on this video or this, this side, I'll show you guys a little later in the video, but there's a follower that I can see at the bottom, a spring-loaded follower that I know that there's no rounds in the magazine tube. And I'm also gonna physically and visually inspect the action as well as the chamber to make sure there are no live rounds in the chamber as well. So what we wanna do is we wanna close the action after we verify it's safe. At the front of the magazine tube, you'll have a nut here that you'll just turn and screw it all the way off to the end. That'll come off. Bring the action open just a bit. Then you're going to, going to grab, you guys will remember from another video, from an earlier video, we, we did a review which we'll link into the description box below. Um, we, we did an unboxing for one of our earlier courses uh, where you'll receive a brass, punch or brass hammer and some, a set of brass punches. For this video, we're gonna use these brass punches to take out these two pins here. And you guys can use a regular punch block, but if a punch block is not available to you, a roll of tape works just fine. So I'm just gonna set this up here. Using finesse, we don't really wanna whack on these, these pins, but we wanna use just a little bit of finesse and just tap them out both forward and rearward pins. And if they don't come out, out on the backside, you just pull them the rest of the way out. After that, the trigger assembly should easily, easily come out. All right, so where this where an 870 system differs from in, in disassembly method differs from the Mossberg or the Maverick. You can't just pull the slide out, the carrier slide, and the bolt out of the, the receiver. You actually have to bring the action forward, push in your shell stop, which are two action or two two uh, uh, pieces of spring steel on the side. You would put it, push in your shell stop, and the whole assembly would come out to the front. So right here you have your carrier slide which fits in like we saw fits into this onto these action bars in the forend. The bolt will slide forward as you as you pull the the uh, forend and and right here, once you get to the front, this, this bolt will be forward on that slide. You'll see this little protrusion right here. The, that protrusion helps this locking block engage into the locking surfaces into the chamber here. So you'll see this little cutout, this little groove right here. That's where these locking surfaces, you see how it mates in there, that bolt? This locking block will fit up inside, to, inside that recess and how that does it, or how that happens, this slide will fit in there like that. The bolt will be in the forward most position. When it contacts the breech, when the front of it contacts the breech here, it will slide to the rear which will pivot this locking bolt up into the locking recess in the on the breech of the uh, which is well what's known as the uh, 
barrel extension here or the barrel shroud. And so then that's what locks your system. So that's a safety mechanism, sealing the chamber and all those gases so they go to the front instead of rearward into your face. Here we have uh, the magazine tube. Earlier I was talking to you guys about the, the spring-loaded follower. So once you see this follower right here and you can feel it, you know that the firearm or at least the magazine tube, the feeding device, is empty of live ammunition. And here you just have the, the uh, receiver um, gutted down as much as it can be except for the ejector you have right here. And you have also two shell stops uh, that are staked in place, so those won't come apart on normal disassembly. In the trigger system, you have your carrier or your lifters, as some people would call them. Right here's what you, you call your carrier dog. Um, flip this to unsafe or on fire. And when you pull the trigger, you have your hammer which will come up and strike the, the back of the firing pin right here, which will protrude out the front when the locking bolt is in the upward position. The firing, will come out, the firing pin will come out the front, strike the primer, and, uh, and set the round off. And now to reassemble this firearm or any firearm, you just go into reverse reverse order of how you uh, disassembled it. So for this uh, reassembly, we would put our we would grab our forend with the action bars. We'd put our uh, slide carrier here or our slide. Put the bolt back on. Uh, fit the forend over the magazine too. Bring the bolt, the system, or the the assembly back into the uh, the action. Depress that that slide stop. Both slide stops on both sides. You can bring the bolt to the rear, and now this is actually locked in place, so it won't fall out again unless you were to depress those those shell stops. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab your your uh, trigger trigger assembly. You'll fit that into the firearm. Easily. Fit that down in. Make sure your your pinholes line up. Very easy to Keep these uh, differentiated. One is large and one is small. You would just start those with your hand. Small pin. And then this is where I would probably use the polymer end of the, of the hammer. Just knock those into place. Again, using finesse, you can come down to the, to the receiver. It's not going to hurt it. Especially on, on uh, finishes like this is more of a, a parkerized finish. Um, and then you're going to fit your, you're going to bring your, your bolt forward probably half open on the, on the ejection port. Fit your, I'll probably move it just a bit, bit further forward. Fit your barrel back in and then you're gonna torque your nut back down. And after every reassembly, we wanna give it just a general uh, function check. Here is the bolt override, so you uh, you can uh, bring the bolt to the rear by, by depressing this. On a Mossberg, it's gonna be at the back. Um, but yeah, you wanna give it a general, um, a general feel or uh, function check. Making sure the firearm is pointed in a safe direction, you're gonna check the trigger. Make sure everything functions, and this one's checking out just fine. Put it back on safe. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing and liking. 
um, so that we, you have access to our future content. And uh, also visit us at sdi.edu. Check out our, uh, our certificate programs and associate programs. We look forward to seeing you at SDI and welcome to the family.